All right, speaking of leveling up, how about Gaga Slonina? The young goalie for the Chicago Fire is finally getting his deal done to move to Chelsea eventually. Not quite yet. He'll finish out the MLS season in Chicago and join Chelsea on January 1st. That, according to Fabrizio Romano, for a reported fee of $10 million could rise as high as $15 million. That, according to The Athletics. Slonina, of course, committed to play for the U.S. earlier this year. So, Herc, with that in mind and given this move, could Slanina actually be the third U.S. goalie at this winter's World Cup in Qatar? Okay. Let's just call a spade a spade really quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Quickly. If it's based on merit today, he would not be the third goalkeeper in the World Cup, in this November's World Cup. That's a reality. He's 18 years old, okay? And for as high as his ceiling is... At the Major League Soccer level, with the Chicago Fire, there have been plenty of games this season, plenty of points this season that he's directly been involved in dropping, okay? Mistakes that young players will make, but a very important position. So if it's based on merit today, that's probably not the case, okay? Mm. He probably won't Think go. about the future. Oh, what about I'm the future? Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. He's only 18 years old, but I'm thinking about the future, okay? And you've got a goalkeeper in Zach Steffen, who's 27 years old, Matt Turner, who's 28 years old, Ethan Horvat, who's 27 years old. I mean, they're going to be 31, 32 next World Cup. Not exactly ready to hang them up if you're a goalkeeper. We're seeing goalkeepers today play way longer, way more than other players uh, in general when it comes to, to footy. What he does have going for him, and when I will say future is, is his ceiling. Because goalkeepers who sign at big clubs, well, you've already seen... Tim Howard at Manchester United when it comes to U.S. men's national team setup. You've seen now uh, Zach Steffen at City. You've seen now Matt Turner at Arsenal. That doesn't guarantee you that you will be that goalkeeper in that huge elite setup. But the ceiling is so Man. exciting for Gaga that a team like Chelsea would pay $15 million, upwards of $15 million for an 18-year-old that they believe that much in him. That entices a coach like Greg Berhalter or would entice a coach like Greg Berhalter to think down the road. Like, how good can he be? How high mm -hmm. is that ceiling actually? So if a player like the third goalkeeper probably will never play in a World Cup, why not bring him on? Why not afford him that possibility, that experience, and see what that fruit can bear? I am with that. Yeah, and Greg Berhalter has, has told us, you know, he's, he's interested in 2026. So, I mean, he's also thinking ahead to the future when he talks about how young this team is. Look, here's the thing with Slanina. It's so tempting to take this player because if everything goes to plan, and not just his plan, but Chelsea's plan as well, right? Because they're spending significant money on this kid. By the time 2026 rolls around, he's going to be 22 years old, right? And he's going to be the number one or number two for Chelsea. And whatever you want to say about Zach Steffen, Matt Turner, Ethan Horvath being 27, 28 right now, those guys have had their opportunity, Herc, to lock down the number one job, and they haven't. If this kid's career trajectory goes to plan, he's going to be the number one at Chelsea. That means he's going to be the number one for the U.S. in 2026. And if that's the case, you definitely want him to have had World Cup experience, right? Even if it's yeah. not playing, even if it's just riding the, riding the airplane and being there. It's, especially when you think of it's a position that will never really be truly tested come the World Cup. Mm. I mean, when yep. do you see the third goalkeeper go in? Never. So if you're affording them the experience and we're betting on that high ceiling, if Chelsea's betting on that high ceiling, I just think it's a no-brainer. The only thing to think about here is because we are in COVID times, right? I think probably more so than in any other World Cup. In this World Cup, the third goalie is actually more likely to be in play just because of COVID. We just finished up Euro 2022. Players were, were dropping out of the tournament like flies. So there you go, just Seb. Saying. There you go. Not I'm just saying. Seb, Seb to the rescue, everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.